Hey everybody, XJO81X here, and here is the final and third installment of the vacuums. The left is the old, the right is the new. So, promised is I'm going to show you and have you listen to the left problem as far as the pitchness and if it's something that I don't know, are there vacuum torques? Are there people who actually like vacuums out there? You know, I just wanted to start the video with those two images. Okay, it's usually in the closet. We usually drop it down. We usually just throw on this. We kind of do one of these. Oh, it breaks it. I'll take the plug out, step on it, pull enough out, plug it in somewhere. I'll, for this purpose, I'll plug it into the workbench. Bring enough stuff out because I'll pretend the vacuum missed it. And uh, that's that. So, disclaimer alert I'm going to turn it on for anybody who has audio situations. Now is the time to figure out if you want to just mute it. So here's going to be step one. Should be four. <laughs> the performance indicator stayed green like I said but I don't know if my cell phone picks it up, but do you hear that loud yee? So what we'll do is we'll engage it to floor and then brush. this head will go to the head that came with eBay. That. That's just a lot of hair and schmutz. So now what I want to do real quick on camera is remember that uh, in episode 2, volume 18, Hickory Dickory Dock, I told you that there was a filter uh, right here that this new machine doesn't have. So I'm going to take that out. So here is the setup. So I'm thinking this got really clogged. So let me just take this out. Again, we're kind of, I'm not going to sell it. <sighs> Maybe it's one of those garage finds. Maybe I'll sell it at a garage sale. I'll go outside one day, I'll take it with compressed air and like a cloth. And I'll say, hey, it works, but I got a new one. You know, like. Why throw it away? But I don't also have the room to store it, but we'll take it with a grain of salt right now that 
has nothing to do with this video. Okay, so we'll turn that on. I personally think that's still the same. Okay, well, I'll worry about that another time. You could purchase new filters for this. There's one filter here, there's one filter here, and underneath here, there's a filter by the motor. Again, like I said, I could take it all apart one day. I could hit it with compressed air. I could take a damp cloth to it. And then I could try to sell it for like 20 bucks at a garage sale or maybe Facebook Marketplace. Again, this is the way it's supposed to be stored. We usually just throw it in the closet like this and then you end up messing around. So the funny part is after all these years, <laughs> it goes like that. Right, this kind of gets out of the way. So what we'll do for these purposes, get that out of the way. Moment of truth. Excuse me. Got a lot of garbage here because. Okay. Here's the moment of truth. Put the head on, out of the way over here. I don't know if there's lights, like I said. Jay's like, if there are, then they're probably HD digital. Okay. Same scenario, I left all the cords here and wand release, what it's worth. to it. Hard word floor instead of the word floor now. Suction, suction control is low. Suction control is high. The wand doesn't change anything. Check bag, the light goes blue. I guess that's if there's a clog. So that's good. Carpet doesn't work because it's not connected. So what you're supposed to do is the pop and go, you're supposed to hit that. You're supposed to hit this. You're supposed to break it, right? Right, I won't, uh, there you go, something like that. That's what they want. Yep, and you're supposed to go like that. And now you're supposed to do this. Turn, it's nice. Just go in there. You're supposed to shut it off. You're supposed to hit it with your foot. You're supposed to put this back, but then now you still have to bend. Hit the button, maybe put your foot on it. Kind of, it'll be perfected another time, and that's that. So let's make sure. Okay. Oh my truth is, this is what everyone wants to hear and see. So it's on low, medium, high, extra low, you can hear it. 
should be fun in the house. That was a little weird. Uh, we're going to just pause here and I'm going to bring you upstairs to the living room. This way the conclusion of this video would be a nice 10 by 12 area rug and <clears throat> you can really see. Let me show you the pressing the button. See how nice it is if this works correctly. You press the button on your foot, your heel. Jesus, that's a lot. So, uh, hang out. Let me just go upstairs and give you a nice run up. Unfortunately, what I didn't like is that they didn't put like one or two LEDs in there just to get Chinese. But think about it the more you put in there, the more that's going to break. Okay, it's plugged in. It's on the bottom right. We're going to start here. I'm just going to do my thing. I'm going to shift the levels. You might hear the difference in brush. You don't want to really, you know, go so low where it bogs down. You want to find a happy medium. So, I feel like maybe this thing's, what's good, this thing sits like really tall, so you're able to like keep going, you don't have to like walk. If you were to just lower it, you would get the same throw, but it stops there. So, totally up to you, to catch more ground. Also, I think storing it is better this way. So we'll do this plus half. All right, I think that's that. So it's gonna be loud, I'm not gonna talk. Right now this is on low, it'll probably go to medium. Did you hear it bogging down? Did you hear that? That sounds better and more airflow. Really low? No. Low? Probably not. Medium sounds like what this carpet might need, so let me go.
that's going to conclude this video and this series of a brand new vacuum. Um, there you go. That's the one thing it's, that's never been perfected. There you go. Lower the, lower the shaft. Um, that's going to conclude this video, like I said, of uh, three parts of purchasing a brand new vacuum, 600 series Kenmore. There's a couple attachments in the pop and go, and at the end of the day, it's a vacuum. I'm happy with it. We're going to vacuum the whole house. And that's it. And at some point, I'll look at the instruction booklet. We'll see how quick the filters get clogged with the dog hair. But hit like, hit subscribe. If you want to see anything special, as far as me not showing you something or taking it off, maybe cleaning a fan or the ceiling, um, let me know. I will show you one other thing while I have it open here. For argument's sake, let me just show you like the corner. So the purpose of this aluminum shaft was that you don't have to get up on a ladder. So you pop it off and you've got to bring it. And for the most part, you could get to the roof, the ceiling, excuse me. But maybe there's a piece of uh, uh, furniture or something. And you say like you really got to get there, but you can't get over there. So I think the purpose of their plan was to put an attachment on here instead of, you know, and then being able to extend and clean the, the corners and the cobwebs and stop you from leaning over things. I think that's one of the inventions that they were pushing on this. Um, but other than that, it's exactly the same one that I showed you before, just 30 years later. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next vacuum video. I was saying you should do those stairs with that attachment.